I'm so excited. I've got a huge fucking icy. I bought this cup like two days ago. It's 64 ounces. I don't know who in their right mind would have this, but here I am. I have it. It's so good. And a huge fucking joint for today's video. We're gonna be getting lit. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far and I hope all of you are getting super baked for 420. I am about to be getting very lit. I'm so pumped. I've got a little over nine, nine and a half ounces, I wish. Nine and a half grams in here. I was really, really tempted. There was a quarter pound like challenge raw joint that came out. I think this year, I don't even know, but I've been seeing it at a bunch of smoke shops and trying to pawn it off, obviously, because I don't think people buy these that often. They're not very practical, but I'm so excited to sit down and sesh on this with you guys. I mean, I'm already sitting down, but I'm pumped to spark this up. It's kind of chilly out, and I know this is gonna warm me up to say the least. I think for a while, I'll be chilling. I'll be good. I'll just be, you know, smoking it, but then it's gonna get to a point where I'm just absolutely dying. Last year's 420 hotbox was the exact exact same. I was like, oh, I got this. And then like halfway into all four blunts, I was just like absolutely dying. There was no clean oxygen to breathe in. It was smoke at that point. And um, I have a feeling that exact same thing is going to happen. So I'm pumped. <laughs> also, let me know what you guys are smoking on. I've got mostly divorce cake in here. And then there's like one nug of cherry lime runs, but the divorce cake is super smooth on your throat. So I think it'll be perfect for this. Also, I couldn't find a torch lighter. How shitty is that? Well, I take that back. I found one, but for whatever reason, butane is just like shooting out the bottom of it. It won't take any butane. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw this joint in all its glory this morning, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Listen to this. It sounds like the airflow is going to be immaculate, but it's kind of nerve wracking sparking something up that's like this large. Cause like, what if it burns fucked up? That's how you know, I think it's going to burn. So, so nice, but we will see. There's only one way to test that out. Your girl came fucking prepared. I got an ashtray in here, which this is definitely not large enough to like really set my joint in. I mean, kind of is. I don't think that, I mean, maybe it is built for that. Like obviously not, but Josh is out there probably thinking of everything. Like what if they have the fucking extreme boy? They're gonna need to set that down too. This is gonna be like fucking full if we actually smoke all this, but I'm, I'm pumped. I need to shut up. Let's go. Let me know what y'all are smoking on or if you rolled up something crazy. Let me know. I really just want to go in, but I know that's kind of dumb. I should definitely burn this off first. So I'm gonna do that and then we will spark it up. Holy shit. The last time we smoked something like this was probably last 420 when I rolled up all four of my blunts. Or, I mean, yeah, the craziest thing I did was I think a half gram dab for 50,000 subscribers and then we've got a little sesh for 100k coming which will be fun i'm not taking a gram dab maybe i will eventually but that isn't the 100k video i know a lot of you guys were guessing that in the 50k video it's so wide at the top like a cigar it is that's a fat ass cigar even shit all right i'm gonna try and spark this up cheers it's so weird because the camera's literally like a couple inches in front of the joint because the joint is like fucking 11 inches long what the fuck That lit up surprisingly well. Shit. I'm glad that just lit up well, or I would have been like, oh God, do I just like put it out now and go put it in a different joint paper? It's gonna get so boxed in here so fast. I'm gonna try and get a thumbnail before like too much of it is gone. Do you guys tend to fix your joints and blunts when they start like canoeing or like running a little bit or do you just like smoke it and hope it fixes itself? Let me know. That is absolutely crazy. Just seeing the cherry like cover the whole middle section of my face. Might not even have to turn it the joint so long. It is, holy hell. It's ribbing good. God damn. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly super smooth so far. Definitely the one pro of joints is that they are so much smoother on your throat compared to a blunt. And I like love my blunts, but I am not somebody who is afraid to admit that this is a hundred times smoother than a blunt is on your throat. I'm taking like bong rip pools off of here. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> I can already feel the smoke coming back in when I cough. This is about to get intense. I feel like soon you and I should have like a tent sesh. A tent sesh? Like yeah. hot box a tent. That'd be super fun. This is fucking ripping. I feel like we've never done that. And most people like hot box their closet or bathroom. And honestly, I just have way too much shit to pull it all out of my closet. I'm not doing that. I haven't even ashed it yet. And this is what we're looking like. Where's that ash tray? His first ash. I feel like I asked you guys last time what the largest sesh you've ever had was, like at one time, kind of like, you know, something like this. And um, I think the largest sesh we've ever had, last year we used to sit down and smoke ounces, like for 420 and like my birthday and Kyle's birthday, we just like bought an ounce and smoked it all that day. So that's nothing like too crazy. I think we've definitely smoked a couple ounces in a sesh, but that's probably the most we've smoked. And then this, this is like a 10 gram joint, so. We'll see if we get it all the way down. But let me know whether it be you guys have rolled up like ounce fucking joints. I know Raw just came out with like a quarter pound challenge joint, which I don't know if they just came out with it, but I just saw it. It's fucking huge. So, I mean, somebody out there has probably stuffed that thing full before. We really go through a good amount, but we're somewhat reservative. Just like take bong rips throughout the entire day instead of sitting down and having a huge sesh. If you take a bunch of bong rips and you haven't smoked a joint in a long time, then a joint will get you really high or vice versa. If you only smoke blunts and joints and then you take a bong rip, then the bong rip will get you really high. So I like to try and like change it up, but Kyle and I have been hot on bongs, like on pieces for the last like six, seven months, but we still go through a lot of product just taking snaps. Like we just snap a bowl. And I'd say we probably take five or six bowl snaps per little sesh we have on average. But holy shit, this thing is really ripping like a bong. You can take such a fat pool before it like gets all the way down through the bottom of the joint. Yeah, we're at the point where if I breathe in, I can actually just blow smoke out and I haven't hit the joint in like. Holy fuck. <laughs> I cracked the box for a second because. <coughs> Holy fuck, you still look back there. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I just cracked the box for a second so I could get like a breath of fresh air, but holy shit. It is ripping like a bong. It is. <coughs> I think it's just because it has like to travel so far to the mouthpiece from the cherry. So you're taking a long ass inhale. I also have a special announcement for you guys. I'm glad I remembered that because too much further into this and we would have been going without the announcement. Oh, it's looking pretty good. <coughs> I feel like it was getting a little too boxed to see me. So I cracked that shit for a second. Now it's really fucking cold in here. Kind of regretting my decision. I would have rather suffered in the smoke and in the warmth. But here I am. I do have announcement. Don't let me get off of that. I'm dropping a new sticker for 420. I think I also mentioned in one of my last videos that new merch is on the way and I cannot wait to show you guys it. It is so fucking bomb. But look how sick these little 420 stickers are. So if you guys are interested in stickers, definitely go ahead and check out the website. I feel like this is not doing the color justice. My throat is definitely starting to feel the burn. I've got through the widest part though. It's definitely starting to slim down a bit. I mean, last year I was like, I don't wanna be in the car for like fucking five hours. So I sparked all four blunts at once. Well, I sparked the first two, got them going and then sparked the other two. And y'all were like, I would have watched that all. You should have sparked them one by one. We would have been there for 
eternity at that rate. I don't know if anybody else is like this, where you kind of have freedom to smoke wherever you want to smoke, like whether that be inside, on your back porch, in your car, in your garage, literally anywhere. And so I don't always choose to hotbox my car. I know some people don't have the option. They like have to kind of always hotbox their car, but I don't choose to always hotbox my car. And sometimes I forget I was in here smoking and then I come out the next morning and I'm like, I was smoking some good cushion there last night. And I completely forgot because I got lit before I went to bed. And like, you know, I get lit before I go to bed and then I'm just like so caught off guard by the smell in the morning. Normally I'm smoking a blunt too. So there's a little extra stench in here, but this is gonna probably smell mad loud in the morning. It does keep wanting to burn a little fucked up, but it definitely could be a little worse. It just started like significantly raining. I don't know if you can hear it probably a little bit, but maybe not. I got a new mic, so. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it's raining and I'm starting to feel it like more here than like the normal here. It's definitely a way better deal to buy your own shit and roll it up from the dispo. Y'all, I might have to get out of here. <laughs> At this point, I think the being in the car aspect is hurting me more than the joint is hurting me. I don't know. It's literally like, at this point, it probably is almost midnight. So it, like I'm filming this on 420, like I'm about to bust ass to get this up, but it fucking snowed this morning. Absolutely not. There's nothing okay about that. That's all I have to say. I'm high and I absolutely hate that. I feel like 420 should be warm and peaceful and not snowy. I just spend the bands on a reset, reset, reset. I just spend the bands on a reset, reset. All right, I'm gonna consider this a roach and save this for in the morning or maybe later tonight even. There's really not much left. That's definitely a roach, I mean. I figured this is gonna be kind of difficult to put out. But your girls cough at like every couple hits, like a lot. Thank y'all so much for session with me this 420. Also, thank you so much. We just recently hit 100K. YouTube got me my 100K plaque so fucking fast. I was amazed. That's insane. I love you guys so much. Even crazier that for like the last year and a half, year, my channel's been age restricted. So the views have been like cut in half and we've still been steadily growing. It's mind blowing. So I love y'all. If you're still here right now, you're a real one. I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Don't forget, I just dropped some cute little 420 stickers on my website. And yeah, until my next one, peace. I love you guys. Stay safe. Oh,